Organised by the Real Club Maritimo de Marbella, it's Marina, the club Vea Vendabal, and the Real Club Nautico Cas de Ceuta, as well as the Andalusian and Ceuti Sail Federation, are committed to continuity as the key to the success of this event, which does not lack attractions in itself. The challenge to cross the Strait of Gibraltar twice and to carry out two regattas in shore, one in Marbella and the other in Ceuta. The start of the first day towards Ceuta was joint for all classes and was given at 11.15 in the morning, predicting a quick crossing. After the start, the boats had to take a buoy located one mile to 090 and then go with the tailwind to take another beacon located in Puerto Banus, coinciding with the passage of the runners Iron Man, also held in Marbella. At this point, the wind had already rolled a little to the south and the boats taking distance between them were already heading towards the 40 miles separating them from Ceuta. Sergio Lucha from Ceuta C was who managed to get to the top of the table, demonstrating his firmness in defending the title for the third consecutive year by taking his chest out against the longest boats in the fleet. The 35-foot Red Shark also made its intentions clear from the start, taking risks and achieving a provisional second place. Closing the top three in the general was placed the Silky. After a first contact on the second day, the boats would have to cover a total of 11 miles bordering the peninsula that forms Ceuta. The start was given with a wind of 13 knots of 110. Red Shark and sailed to sea with a very good start of the boat of the club Vea Vendabal began a marking that defined the race. Even so, the Red Shark had taken distance from the local boat. It wasn't enough to beat it, so it could be said that one more day of the sail to sea did dominate the race. The two boats opened a gap with Lavin, owned by Iñaki Castanier, who had proved much more competitive than the day before and crossed the finish line second in real, which gave him a third place in compensation time. During the third journey, Participants had to cross the Strait of Gibraltar again to return to Marbella. The crossing took place again with east wind, established with between 6 and 8 knots in the first phase of the race and reaching until 12 in the middle of the Strait of Gibraltar. Vikingo, a first 34 of Enrique Gonzalez, crossed the finish line, getting a figure of 4 hours 59 minutes 35 seconds that proclaimed him the winner of the race. His clubmate, Silky, placed second in the classification of the day. The third place was for Iñaki Castanier, who starred in one of the regattas of the day. Unfortunately, during the last journey, the wind became capricious, making it difficult for the organization to establish the race course, leaving the classifications unchanged. So, putting together the rankings of the three days competed, one more year, and for the third consecutive edition, the club's Ceuta C. Vela Vendabal won the title of champion, while Red Shark won the second place and Silky closed the honor titles, thus ending a very complete event in days and types of competition and offering a wonderful hosting of the two host cities.